Hey everybody, this is a very, very special video today. Today, we say happy birthday, a very happy birthday, to the amazing Kendra Winchester. Let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you all doing today? I hope you guys are doing very, very well. Happy beginning of May. Happy May 1st. I hope you guys are reading lots of books and I hope you guys are excited about this because today my friend Kendra Winchester reaches her 30s. I remember my 30s very fondly. They were quite some time ago. But I am here today to celebrate Kendra and just the amazing friendship that she has given to me, which really was because of BookTube. BookTube introduced us. So I can't, I can't even thank BookTube enough and I cannot thank Kendra enough for her amazing friendship. So what has happened is Jacqueline and Kendra's husband, Sam, have put together a Kendra Winchester 30th birthday tag. So I'm going to do that tag for you. I will link Kendra's channel down below. If you are not already a subscriber, you should do that. She is also the one of the founding members of the Reading Women podcast. If you do not listen to them, you should do that as well. And I will link the Reading Women podcast down below. I will say find them wherever your podcasts are available. Now, there are 10 questions and a bonus. I'm going to answer nine questions in the bonus, and I'll explain to you why uh, when we get there. So the first question is, what is your favorite Virginia Woolf novel? Now, uh, Virginia Woolf is Kendra's favorite writer. So I had a hard time here because I didn't want to disappoint, but it's actually a very easy answer for me. And that is Miss Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I love this book. I love everything about this book. I've loved so many books inspired by this book and movies inspired by this book. Um, to me, this is just the epitome of, of Virginia Woolf's genius. So yeah, my favorite Virginia Woolf, hands down, Mrs. Dalloway. Ha. Question number two, what is your favorite book featuring food? So it could be a memoir, a cookbook, or just a book with a ton of vivid descriptions of eating. And when I was thinking about this one, the book that first popped into mind, the book that I remember reading and my mouth watering was Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Karam. And this is about a young boy and his family who returned to Iran uh, so that the family can see the grandfather as the grandfather's been getting ill. But what is really prevalent through this book is so much talk of food, delicious, amazing food, sweets, and just food, you guys. Every time they talked about food, I wanted to eat the Persian food. It sounded amazing. Um, and yeah, I will remember that. It made me so absolutely hungry um, and it was beautifully written. So my food book is Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Karam. If you haven't read that book as well, it's fantastic. I'm trying not to go into like a whole spiel about the books because that's not what this tag is about. Russell, stay on topic. Uh, question number three, what is your favorite fantasy book? I actually today decided to talk about my favorite fantasy book that reminds me of Kendra because we buddy read this together, but we buddy read The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang and we absolutely loved this book together. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit later about buddy reading with Kendra Winchester, but I will just say that we had such a fun time with this book. We were so excited. Uh, we need to sit down and buddy read the sequel. What's going on, Kendra? We need to get that um, on the list. But I loved this fantasy. I love this fantasy series. I'm ready for for it to take me all the way through. So that is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Kuang. Okay. Now, this one was a little bit hard for me. My favorite book set in Appalachia. I couldn't really think of one that jumped out at me. Um, and I will say I haven't read a ton of books set in Appalachia. But I did have one on my book when I was sort of Googling through. I had one on my shelf um, that came up on a bust, bunch of lists about Appalachia that I'm super excited to read. So that's what I'm doing here. And that is Southern, Southernmost by Silas House. Um, this starts and takes place in sort of rural Tennessee. It's a story of a preacher after a huge flood takes in a gay couple into his home um, because they lost everything in the flood. 
and his whole congregation, including his wife, turn on him. And he tries to preach forgive, uh, acceptance and loving your neighbor and all that. It doesn't go well. And um, he winds up mo going on a trip to reconnect with his brother who he disowned because his brother was also gay and he drives down to the Florida coast. So I think that book, that redemptive arc, that whole story, um, I've heard nothing but great things about this book. So I'm super excited about Southernmost by Silas House. That's my Appalachian novel that I'm excited to read. Not my favorite, sorry, but hey, I got it. I got it. Um, what is your favorite audiobook? I don't know if you guys know this about Kendra, but she does most of her reading via uh, via audiobook, and um, she recommends so many great audiobooks to me. But the one that popped into my head right away was the audiobook for Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone. It is a phenomenal audiobook. Now, Jacqueline reads all of sort of the third person narrative, and then there are actors for each of the characters. And I kid you not, it's not very long. It's like maybe five hours, but it is a whole entire emotional journey. And it is phenomenal. One of my favorite audiobooks of absolute all time. So that's Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone. It's also a fantastic novel. So you could do both. Do both. Do both for me. Um, question number six is a book that reminds you of Kendra or a book you read that Kendra recommended. Um, there are so many that this stack <laughs> is involved with this, but the one that popped to my mind was Women Talking by Miriam Taves. Um, we actually also buddy read this book together. No, did we buddy read this book together? No, we buddy read another book of Miriam's together. But I will say we've talked about her and the author and all of this stuff together, and um, we became obsessed with her. Ke Kendra actually went out and bought every book by her in a certain edition, and um, this is just one of those books that blew me away. It was one of my favorite books the year it came out. Absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, so this book 100% reminds me of Kendra and our absolute love of Miriam Taves together. Yes, love women talking. Okay. What is a book by your favorite women, woman author or female author? <clears throat> now, most of my favorite authors are women, um, but there is sort of a um, apex, the peak of it is, and that would absolutely be Toni Morrison. Then it comes down to, I love Toni Morrison so very, very much, which books do I pick? So I decided to pick just for this sake, the Bluest Eye, because it was the first Toni Morrison I ever read, and this is the book that made me love her so very, very much. I actually have three different editions of this book on my shelf behind me. I love it that much. Um, Toni Morrison, to me, is the apex of American letters. I think she is one of the maybe three greatest American writers ever in the history of the United States, um, and I think that this book is freaking brilliant. And so there you go. Okay, here's a fun one. It's a book with a character that reminds you of Kendra. Now, this is not to answer this question because when I first read it, I thought a book that reminds you of Kendra Winchester. And I couldn't get myself over that and I wasn't allowing myself any wiggle room because I really have to talk about Autumn by Allie Smith. Allie Smith, the author, reminds me of Kendra Winchester. Now, if you ever get the utter pleasure of doing a buddy read with Kendra, be ready to just be in awe of the amount of research and work she does as you read a book. She created, as we buddy read, we buddy read this book together, she created an entire spreadsheet of articles, um, references, uh, information to make it so that we could better read this book. You can see my tabs are actually still in it. Um, and for me, when I think about Kendra, I think that she and Allie Smith share a brilliance for the depth and perception of what books can do and how they can affect a reader. And I think more than the character, it's the writer that reminds me of Kendra. And I feel like Allie Smith sits there writing these books and Kendra re sits there reading them going, we are gonna figure out this whole puzzle together. And they're like a brilliant mash. I wish someday they could meet each other. I know Kendra would probably love that as well because I really think that they would be fabulous friends. So. That's my answer to the book that reminds me of Kendra Winchester, and that's Ali Smith's Autumn. Um, question number nine. Okay, this is the one I'm skipping. The question of a book with a birthday party in it. 
I could not think of a single book I've read with a birthday party in it. Now, that's not true in a way. There is a book by, is it Jonathan Topper? I think that's his name. And it has a scene in it where he comes home in the middle of the day. What is the name of the book? I can't even remember. But I'm just going to say this scene. There's a movie. The movie has Tina Fey in it. Um, and what happens? It's about a family that comes home to sit Seder for the father that's passed away. But at the beginning of the book, it's the birthday of the wife. The husband comes home with a cake, lights all the candles, walks into the bedroom to surprise her. She's in bed with someone else. He drops the cake on the man and burns him in his not so nice places with the candles. That was the only birthday scene that I could think of in, in the answer to this question. And I don't have that book on my shelf. So yeah, so I'm kind of skipping it. I'm telling you a story though. It's really funny. That book is great. I cannot remember the name of it. I actually really liked the movie too. A little different, but good like it. Question number 10. Favorite, favorite reading women award winner. There are many, but I have to say Hunger by Roxane Gay is absolutely my favorite. I think Roxane Gay is a brilliant, brilliant writer. And this book has stuck with me ever since I've read it and also stuck with me once it won the award. Um, I think that it is a book that everybody should absolutely read. So yeah, there's that. Last but not least, the bonus question is a book you would recommend to Kendra. Now, how do you recommend a book to a person who voraciously reads, um, introduces you to most of the books that you wind up reading? But I could think of one. I could think of one book, and the way I did this was, what is a book that I've read lately that I would love to have buddy read with Kendra? And that is... These Ghosts Are Family by Maisie Card. This is out now from um, Simon & Schuster. Um, I actually ordered this from East Bay Booksellers. I'm waiting for it to come. I loved it so much. So this is the, the advanced copy, but it is going on my permanent shelf. Basically what I would say, this is the story of a group of Jamaican women from all age groups that are affected by the decision of a single man. Um, we have a father who at the very beginning is older and he is coming to the ends of his life. He brings together three women. Two are his daughters, one is his granddaughter, and one of his daughter has believed him to be dead for the last 30 years. And what happens, Maisie winds up telling us the story of all of the women that were affected by this man and his decision to fake his death. That's no surprise you learn about it in the first few pages um, and how it affected all of them and then how they sort of wind up interconnecting. We learn about them as people, they become very realized. And I just feel like this book has a lot of what Kendra as a reader and Kendra as a producer of the reading women in that brilliant medium does, you know, and is into. So I think she would love it. So that's These Ghosts Are Family by Maisie Card. And I hope she does read it. And I hope she probably already read it. Um, but I hope we can talk about it someday. So I am wearing my Reading Women t-shirt, Reclaim Half the Bookshelf, Reading Women. And I am wishing Kendra Winchester an absolutely happy, happy, happy 30th birthday. I hope you have a phenomenal day celebrating. I hope uh, your little corgi love, Dylan, treats you well. Tell Sam to spoil you. You get whatever you want. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you, Booktobe, for bringing you into my life. Happy birthday, my friend. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.